All right, Billy Bob, do you think we can hold it together long enough to get through today's show? Of course, CB. What makes you think any different? Well, judging by the last few times we tried to do the show, you have been somewhat off kilter. Don't you worry about it, CB. I am definitely back on kilter. <laughs> Good. Then let's get started. Today we're going to discuss... Uh, CB, uh, you got any gum? Gum? No, I don't have gum. As I was saying, today we are... Uh, CB. Now what, Billy Bob? Uh, yeah, I was wondering, uh, you got any breath mints? No, I don't have any gum, and I don't have any breath mints. Well, I got some breath mints right here, CB. Would you like a couple, please? What are you trying to say, Billy Bob? You saying I have bad breath? You didn't hear that from me, CB. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me the damn breath mint. Now, can we get on with the show? Sure, CB. I told you before that I was ready. But first, I want to thank you for saving my life. You idiot, what are you talking about? If you hadn't taken those breath meds, CB, I could have died a slow and painful death by halitosis inhalation. <laughs> are you kidding me? There's no such thing as halitosis inhalation. Well, if you was over here where I am, you might change your mind about that. <laughs> <sighs> All right, all right. Can we get on with it? Sure, CB. I don't know what the holdup is. Today's topic is the United States Congress. Oh, yeah, the Congress. The group of 541 members that sit on their fat butts, collecting a big paycheck, and can't get a damn thing done. Is that the United States Congress you talking about, CB? You knucklehead, I believe Congress has 535 members. Nearly half of them are doing a great job keeping your boy at bay. No, CB, you wrong. Congress does have 541 members, but only 535 can vote. They got six members on there representing places like the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Washington, D.C., Guam, and someplace else I ain't never heard of. They can't vote. You're a freaking political encyclopedia there, Billy Bob. Do you realize, CB, that in a recent survey this year, that this 115th Congress has a disapproval rating of 78%? 78% of the United States citizens are not happy with what Congress is doing. Why is that, Mr. Political Science Guru? As I understand it, CB, according to the Constitution, folks elected to the Senate are elected for six years, and representatives, they're elected for two years. I think the representatives are getting the short end of the stick. Well, what do you expect? Over half of them are Republicans drinking the Trump coup game. You know, it might be my imagination, but I think some of them folks up there in Congress have been there my whole life. I don't think their terms ever end. You know, like Nancy Crumbs, Pelosi, and Chucky Schumer. Oh, really? You know, what we need in Congress is term limits. That way we can get some of the dead wood out of there and put in some new honest folks. You don't say. Now, I'm not saying that everybody in Congress is dishonest. But it sure seems like an awful lot go in looking like a bride and come out looking like Darth Vader. You know what I mean, CB? You know what I mean? I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars, but I hear you, brother. Okay, CB, since you seem to be real big on Congress, why don't you tell me some of the great things they've accomplished in the past year, huh? Hmm? So you want specifics? Let me see. Well, Congress passed a bill to send humans to Mars. Hmm. I believe they passed a bill to detect hearing problems in young kids. They even passed a bill that gives federal employees credit for travel when they take an Uber or a Lyft. All right, all right. But you know, CB, I've been thinking. I think I might run for Congress. I can't do much worse than what they're doing up there. I'll take you over Trump's favorites like Scalise, who has now become a rock star for the hardcore conservatives. Hey, man, he did take a bullet, but get real. If you can get to Congress, I can become president. That's your opinion, CB. If you will recollect, back in 10th grade, I was elected the class president. Hey, man, only because I had a serious stomach ailment that prevented me and the other front runners from being part of that debate. Well, you know, CB, that wasn't all my fault. Now, I didn't encourage those students to make them x lax pies for the student council. <laughs> but I must admit, it was pretty funny. Messy, but funny. <laughs> hey, you'd be a great comedian, but Mary Jo Mulligan would have made a better class president. But you know, I think I could make a good senator representative. I mean, I can shake hands and kiss babies with the best of them. Hey, I'll give you the kissing babies and shaking hands. You'll do anything to get attention. And I suppose that you think you would make a better congressman than me, huh? 
Absolutely, man. First, I graduated from college. Film school, in fact. At least I've got a degree. I tell you what, CB, if you run for office, I'll be your campaign manager. How's that sound to you? Don't go there, Billy Bob. I've got integrity, man. I care about my fellow man. And if I ran for office, I'd do the right thing and follow in the footsteps of what Obama started. Universal health care for everyone. And if you can't make ends meet, then the government would help you. Everyone would have a fair shot, not just the chosen few. Equality for all. Isn't that what America should be all about? Yeah, CB, I can see it now. Vote CBDA ho for Congress. He's the best politician money can buy. <laughs>